Yesterday I read an extremely sad story which was accompanied by an extremely disturbing video that's unlocked a brand new fear within me that I didn't know I had so strongly. It's like an Xbox achievement I never wanted to unlock. Now that's nothing new, that's not some unique quirky thing that only I experienced. It's very common for people to read something or see something that you know, gives them the heebie-jeebies and it becomes some kind of fear or phobia that they'll carry from that point forward. Sometimes it's really goofy things like a silly horror movie. Like maybe you saw the Winnie the Pooh horror film and that scene where the disgusting Winnie the Pooh costume starts drooling after seeing a pair of titties. And now maybe you're fearful of pervert Winnie the Pooh being your sleep paralysis demon or something, right? Like there's just plenty of things where you'll learn something, read something, and it becomes like this new fear. That's what happened to me yesterday. And it's about a story that I'm sure a lot of you have read about or seen the video of by now with the 18 year old who was on a cruise ship with his friends and someone dared him to jump off the cruise ship and he did. This happened a few days ago and he still hasn't been found and obviously most likely will not be found alive. Since reading about and watching the story, I've just thought about it a lot. So I kind of just wanted to talk about this situation because it's fucking heartbreaking. Like. My heart goes out to the family here for this loss because it's, it's so fucking sad. The video is just beyond scary. It is fucking terrifying. He's swimming around. They've threw one of the life rings out there, but it's quite a ways away from him. And you can actually see something like breach the surface of the water and it looks like a shark. Like it actually looks like a shark in front of him and he's, he's looking at something and swimming away from it. He's swimming away from the life ring. And that's, I think, and what a lot of people speculate is because it looked like a shark. Now, from what I've read, it's not uncommon for sharks to circle cruise ships just kind of collecting scraps, which I, of course, had no idea of. They sound like fucking seagulls out there, I guess. So it very well could have been a shark, but it's too blurry and it's too dark in the night to actually see for sure if it's a shark. But there was something there. And he started swimming away from the life ring, and within like two seconds, just vanishes into the open water in the middle of the night. The video is just haunting as well. There's some callous asshole who, as the 18-year-old kid, is vanishing into the open water. He just says, bye-bye. Like, that is downright evil. Keep in mind, this was off of a dare, which is crazy to think about. It's unironically what your parents used to say growing up, you know, don't follow the crowd. If your friends jump off a cliff, would you jump off a cliff? You know, that kind of garbage. But then it actually happened here. I, of course, I imagine whoever dared him to jump off the ship didn't expect him to actually do it, but he did, which means that person is now partly responsible for Cameron's death. The kid's name was Cameron, and they haven't found his body yet, and they probably never will. They called off the search because they hadn't been making any progress on it, so they'll probably never find the body, and I don't think there's any chance that he'll be found alive at any point or anything like that. So this is very much a situation where that dare killed him. Such a diabolical dare too. Even if it was meant as a joke, I dare you to jump off the cruise ship, basically saying I dare you to commit suicide. Like that's fucking crazy. That's so weird. You know, double dog dare you to throw your life away. Haha. -ha. It's so gross. It's a tragic situation and the video is so fucking disturbing to see. I, of course, have always had a bit of a fear of open water, like swimming out in open water. I think every human being in the world has that kind of fear, like, built in. That's, like, default factory settings for human beings. But I've never really considered the possibility of a cruise ship leading to a situation like this. I've never been on a cruise before. It's not because I'm afraid of, like, boats or anything like that. It's mainly just because I don't think I would enjoy being on a cruise. But I never really stopped to process the potential danger of falling in. Like, I guess in my stupid little caveman brain, I always thought to myself, like, ooh, Charlie fall in, Charlie swim back to boat, or life ring go to Charlie and Charlie get back on boat. And honestly, I blame Yu-Gi-Oh when Weevil throws in Yugi's Exodia pieces and Joey dives in off the boat and has no problem getting back. That must have planted the stupidity deep in my brain. But I just never really processed the potential danger of an overboard. And according to what I've read, Overboards on cruise ships are very, very often fatal, especially in the middle of the night. It's extremely difficult to find someone who's gone overboard because of the current that the cruise ship creates, usually yanks people under, 
pushing them very far away very quickly and it just makes it very difficult to locate even during the day let alone at night it is so fucking rare there's been a reported 212 overboards from 2009 to 2019 so they're not super common uh, i guess there's a lot of protocol in place to prevent something like that happening but it does happen occasionally and of the 212 overboards 48 of those were rescued alive so 28 percent that's not a very high survival rate at all so i just never realized just how dangerous it would be to fall off of a cruise ship and i feel like Another thing that contributes to it is people just have this perception that cruise ships move excruciatingly slow, but that's just not the reality of it. They're simply massive, like they are huge, so it looks like they're going slower than they are. But in the water out there, it'd be very hard to keep up with the cruise ship unless you're an Olympic caliber swimmer. It's kind of like a kaiju fight, right? Like Godzilla fighting King Ghidorah, it looks like they're kind of moving slow with a tail whip and shit, but they're just so big, that tail's probably moving at goddamn the speed of sound. It's just because it's so big, it looks slow. So, it, like, falling in or jumping in off of a cruise ship has to be one of the worst things that can happen, like, in general. And I haven't even mentioned the hypothermia because of how cold the water would be in the middle of the night and in the middle of the open water like that. It is probably just the worst possible situation to find yourself in. It, it's heartbreaking. It's a super tragic story. And unironically, it has unlocked a massive new fear within me. Like just picturing that whole series of events out there and then seeing that video. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to talk about this story a little bit. And uh, yeah, that's about it. See ya.